body camera footage has become paramount to law enforcement investigations and to police transparency over the last few years. Up until now, the decision to release that video has been up to each department, but a new bill in the state Senate is looking to change that. Fox 4's Rochelle Aline explains. They say a picture never lies, but what about video? Something that could have took several weeks of investigating um, what ended within three minutes of watching a video. A few years ago, the Northport police chief told Fox 4 that body cam footage helped them clear up accusations against an officer. This kind of video has become a silent third witness in law enforcement encounters like this one involving the arrest of a top state scientist last month. He just pointed a gun at my children! Or this dash cam footage released last week of a deputy involved shooting in Immokalee. Get on the ground. When it comes to body cam footage at this point, it's been up to the discretion of law enforcement agencies to determine whether or not to release all or part of it. But a newly proposed state Senate bill wants to change that. That body cam footage upon completion of the investigation should be released to the public. It would require law enforcement agencies to hold on to the body cam footage of any incident where an officer or deputy shoots at someone or uses excessive force to kill or injure someone. I think that that needs to be done so people really understand why something happened. Once the internal investigation into the incident is done, the agency would then have to release that footage with few exceptions. Florida Gulf Coast University professor and former police officer Dave Thomas says the bill would promote a level of transparency that's not always practiced. When you leave law enforcement to its own devices without oversight, then it loses perspective of what their, their job, what the job actually is and you spend a tremendous amount of time trying to protect yourself when it's not necessary. When similar bills have been proposed in the past, agencies complain that the cost to store the footage longer term would break the bank. But Thomas says these incidents typically don't happen often enough for that excuse to work. If we're talking about a limited data set, then no, it's not cost prohibitive. And above all else, Thomas says it will also allow for agencies to defend their actions when justified and explain when mistakes are made. You know, if the guys and gals are going to make mistakes, and that, that's a fact of life, what you think, and that's going to happen. If passed, this bill would go into effect in July of this year. But what do you think? Do you think agencies should be asked to do this, or should that decision be left up to them? Let us know on the Fox 4 Facebook page. In Cape Coral, Rochelle Aline, Fox 4.